With harvest right around the corner and in some places of the Midwest underway, unfortunately, there's some challenges with some down crop. Hi everyone, I'm Chad Colby and this week we're going to talk about how to fine tune your corn head to help you harvest some of that down corn. Jeremy Wolf from Gearinghoff, he's going to share some of his experience on how you set your corn head and maybe look at things a little differently to tackle the challenges of down corn. So we all know down corn can be a real challenge. Uh, back when we had the old metal snoots back in the day, we'd do anything. We'd take PAM and coat those to try to help slide that material into the head. Nowadays we have poly heads, we have enro augers that are standard on heads. Uh, if you've got an older head, you can put enro augers on those. You can add an aftermarket reel to your head to assist with that. You know, Jeremy, it's nice to see if a producer is in the market for a new head, those attachments you talk about, you can get them right from the factory. Let's talk a little bit more about, about the, the snout itself and some things there a producer might want to be a little wary of if he's got some serious down corn. Yep, great point, Chad. So as you notice behind us, we've got ear savers across the hoods and in between the rows, we're going to want to take all those ear savers off. Anything that creates resistance on getting that material into the head, we want to get that stuff out of there so we can smooth transition that crop. Jeremy, what about the pitch of the corn head? Yep. Is that something a guy also needs to pay attention to because they're going to be running that header quite a bit lower trying to pick up that corn and getting it to feed? Yes, there is. G generally, guys want to go flat. We want to get as low as possible to get under that crop. Um, another tip that really helps is foresight. If you're running the head sight system, there's an unlock in that called foresight that extends the range, gives you a virtual range when that sensor is mashed to the ground, gives you the same sensitivity as when it has its full range. So foresight is an unlock. Um, any insight box has a trial period in it. You can unlock that and try it on your farm. You've got a little trick up your sleeve that you kind of haven't really talked much about. Share it with us. Yes, yes. So. As, as we talked before, I produced, we ran, I, I experienced these conditions. When I came to Gehringhoff, I found one little trick that I'd never heard of that I'm wanting to get out and show people. We've got a lug extension that actually extends the lug and makes those lugs more aggressive, and that's really going to help in down corn. Thanks, Jeremy. One thing I want to remind producers throughout the Midwest is we're getting ready to start this busy harvest season and especially when we're all frustrated with down crop. Take your time and be patient. Be safe during this busy harvest season. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby.